Welcome back, everybody. First off, the wife and I would like to thank everyone who wished us well on the little girl getting better. She's doing great. And so I'm back out here. We're going to try and get some track tin off today. So, I know some of these bolts are already gone or broken off. We'll kind of see what we find when we get into it. Bolt there, bolt there. I assume it's the same on the inside of the track. As we get back, same thing, bolt up here, bolt there. Once again, some are missing. We'll keep working our way back. So in the comment section, I've had a couple people ask like how I break my bolts loose by hand. Uh, what I mean by that is I'm using simple hand tools, either wrenches or, you know, a socket on a ratchet. One thing I'll do, I mean, just put the wrench on there and if it's too tight to pull by itself, you can always double wrench it. And a lot of it is by feel. You know if they're gonna come loose or if they're gonna break. That's really all it is. On this machine, I've been very fortunate I haven't broken a lot of bolts. Most of these bolts have come out. Have come out. Once I've gotten them to the point where they'll move, I just work them back and forth a little bit. And then once I've gotten it that far, I'll put the impact on it. And they usually always come out. Now that's not a guaranteed method. To each their own, everyone has their own thing that they think works. This is what works for me. It's been going well, so that's what I'm gonna stick with. Okay, with all them bolts out. Well, quite honestly, I'm surprised I never saw that wear before. There's a lot of material that's gone there. That has moved back and forth many, many times. So once we actually get into those, we'll see what they're like. If we have to build that up or if we can find different caps there. Uh, as far as the rest of it, I would say it looks fairly normal for its age and for how long it was sitting. But we will continue getting the rest of the track tin off here and have a look at the rest of it. Well guys, there it is with the rear track tin removed. I know the lighting's not the best. Um, working down low like this, the lighting really just doesn't reflect back up even on this gray floor. Um, I'm not dissatisfied with what I see. Everything, you know, appears to be workable. Stuff we can clean up and use again. Um, up front might be a little different story on that idler. This was an ag tractor, so I'm sure it saw a lot, a lot of track time. I mean, this, was, this wasn't a machine that sat around. It went up and down the fields many, many times, so it's not surprising. Um, but we'll get in, tear that inner track tin off, then move to the other side. Okay, same thing on this side bolt up here there would be your top bolt but that one came out with the other piece there should be one here it's not in there and one there now this front one's really not going to give me much headache as you can see that one has broke out i'll have to fix that when we get to putting things back together not too worried about it right now so it's just the one back here and this one will come off And on the last one here, I had to dig for it a little bit. It's just the one bolt down low. Should be another one. If I get my arm back here, right up in there. And then, once again, your other piece bolts into this one. We'll have to see how corroded that bolt is. Um, if I'm going to be able to get that out of there by getting a wrench on it. Otherwise, we may have to go another route. Not quite sure if you guys can see it, but there's a... Uh, massive chunk missing out of that bolt right there i apologize for not being very steady but this isn't the most easy place to get you into 
All right, guys, here's what I ended up doing. I ended up taking a 14 millimeter, which is just slightly smaller than 9 16 and I hammered that on there. We'll see if it wants to come out. I don't even think it was tight. Let's give you guys more of a close-up. I don't think we'll be putting that one back in. Alright guys, with all the track tin off, I think we're going to jump over to the other side and make it look like this one. All right, guys, here's where it gets interesting. From what I'm seeing, it looks like to take tension off of these track chains, we need to turn this bolt. Now, I don't have a wrench here that big. I do have sockets, but with the sprocket here, I'm not gonna be able to get that in there. So, I'm thinking we're gonna have to go wrench shopping, but Unfortunately, that's not going to happen yet today. So my plan here was, I'm not a big fan of them, but I was going to use a large adjustable wrench. But the biggest one I have just does not open up far enough. That nut measures about two and three quarter, and this only opens up to two and five eighths. So... Back to plan A of buying a wrench. Not the end of the world. We're gonna we're gonna use it. Uh, this is not the only D4 I have. Um, the tools are never a bad investment either. Unfortunately, guys, it's probably gonna be a short video. I need to go and get a wrench, something that's gonna fit these. It is what it is type of thing. So I thank everyone for watching. We'll be back at this shortly. If you like what you see, go ahead and throw a like, subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one. This will get the comment section going.